Hello, basketball world. My name is Deniz Aksoy. I'm journalist and passionate basketball lover. So today we will learn the city I love, live in, and we will learn also how one court can connect different people from the community through the love of the game. We will learn all that with the help of Alper Bichen, our local streetballer, Cem Basher, a student who participated one team project with his mom, and a former basketball Turkish player, Sinan Güler. Thanks to BKT and one team, the students of the State High School in Asian side of Istanbul, the Teb Ateşehir Anatolian High School, will be able to practice their sports in reconstructed and renovated spaces. BKT's activities go far beyond tire production. They're strongly committed to being alongside people. That's why they've joined forces with EuroLeague Social Responsibility One Team to provide better basketball facilities where kids at risk of exclusion can get the opportunity to play, learn values, and have fun together. Now we will meet Alper Bichan. He is our local streetballer and he will share his views about basketball culture in the city and problems the community has. Where are we going? Rooftop, let's go. All right, but it's so hot. Like, let me let me get my coat. Is it right. up there? Yeah, is it all the way up there? Alper, this is amazing view, amazing terrace. How did you find it? I asked my friends about this place and they direct me uh, to here and it's a blessing for me to having this conversation with you here. You know, look at look at this view. <laughs> oh, Dennis. My first question to you. Yeah. Go ahead. Out of all the questions. Go ahead. How come you're a great street baller <laughs> and never became a pro? So I I mean like I played a couple years professionally. I won a championship for my high school, but then then after it I went to university and then I focused on my social media and creating content for the basketball, you know, audience. The love of this game, for yeah. this game, and to this game, starts with the street ball, right? Of course, I mean, like, everybody play, start uh, basketball at the streets, so mm -hmm. I'm one of them. So when I was growing up, I used to watch 2010 Turkish national basketball team, which they went to finals against the United States. Sadly, they lost, but mm. it was, like, inspiring one, and I was, trying to recreate the movements from the players in the street basketball. We see so many outside courts. Yeah. There are so many courts, right? And how many courts are in Istanbul? Ooh, that's a great question. For example, I, I might play like 20 to 30 courts. Okay. But I know that it's way more than I expected. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming that there's like 500, 600 oh courts, wow. may, maybe more than that, I don't know. And what do you think about the outside courts that uh -huh. you are witnessing when you're playing the ball? Uh -huh. What does the community that yeah. needs more? So I will speak on behalf of myself first. Sure. Please, I need rims with the nets, okay? Thank you. That, that's the first Thank thing you. I have to tell you. Yeah. When I shoot the ball, I need to hear you know, the Swiss Swoosh. side, yeah, I need to hear that. And we need more courts, maybe more courts with the lightnings, you know, yeah. the lightning is important, so. And I would like to thank to BKT and one team about yeah. what we will see mm -hmm. after this, because uh -huh. I want to take you there uh -huh. to see and play. Uh, <laughs> Are you uh, ready for yeah, that? I'm ready. Okay. I'm, I'm born ready. I... I fire. Before we get to the court, we will meet Lucia Salmazo, Managing Director of BKT Europe, and with her help, we will better understand the BKT mission and challenges. When I saw the smiles on their young faces, it reminds me the impact we can foster through sports. BKT strongly believes in the power of sports to bring together people from all walks of life, to celebrate diversity and to promote inclusion. In every project, we first understand the needs of the community. We were sure that providing both indoor and outdoor playgrounds will create a positive impact to the students and to the local community.
Now we will meet with some of the community members so we can understand better how this court affected their everyday lives with the help from Cem Başar, a student who participated Fenerbahçe Beko 2021-2022 One Team project with his mom and also some of the local streetballers. Öncelikle zaman ayırdığınız için çok teşekkür ederim. Hülya Hanım size, Gökhan sana ve Cem sana. Ee, biliyorum yukarıda şu anda dersler var ama evet. iki dakikanı burada çaldım senin. Ee, ya, burada olsun. oturup A konuşmak değil. için. <gülüyor> ve tişörtünü çok beğendim Cem. Öfsalınız. One Team e, Euroleague tişörtü. Birazdan onu konuşacağız. Fakat öncelikle Gökhan sen de e, yoğun bir tempoda Euroleague Fenerbahçe Beko'dan e, zaman ayırdın ve burada bizlerle. Evet. Gökhan önceki projeden bahseder misin? Tabii ki. Ee, öncelikle Fenerbahçe Beko olarak Euroleague One Team projesi bizim için çok önemli. Hatta artık Fenerbahçe Beko organizasyonlarının genlerini işlemiş bir proje Euroleague One Team projesi. Biz de e, bu proje kapsamında her sene e, çocuklarımıza, kardeşlerimizin e, gelişimine katkı sağlayacak projeler üretiyoruz, üretmeye çalışıyoruz. Bu bizim için çok önemli. Onlara bir şeyler katmak, onların gelişimlerini sağlamak, Bizim için gerçekten çok kıymetli ama sezon sonunda görüyoruz ki aslında onlar da bize çok şey katmışlar. Ee, bu bizi asıl mutlu eden nokta. Yani One Team programında, One Team projesinde evet. sen arkadaşlar edindin, yeni arkadaşlıklar evet, kurdun. Yeni, evet. ee, sana ne gibi artıları oldu? Neler gözlemledin One Team'le? One Team'le e, güzel bir şey görmüştü. Spor yaptım. S spor yaptım sürekli. E, One Team programında güzel arkadaşlar edindim. Ee, çok çok mutluyum tabii ki arkadaş olduğum için Levan Team'den ee, sağ 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 ben mutlu diliyorum. Burada e, basketbol oynuyor musunuz aralarda? Aralarda e, bezenle oynuyoruz yani. Ve bir böyle şey yeni bir sahada oynamak aslında çok daha iyi değil mi? Süper. Evet. evet. Süper. Ee, Valla yapılan çalışmalar e, çok güzel ve çok faydalı çocuklarımız için çok faydalı. Ee, devamını bekliyoruz. Bütün okullar için yapılsın. Ee, emeği geçen herkese teşekkürler. Ee, yenilenmeyen e, veya toplumun, topluluğun e, aslında yaşadığı zorluklar neler oluyor? Spor yapmak isteyen ve yapamayan insanların. E, tabii ki şu anda aslında bir ülkede bir şehirde basketbolun doğduğu, basketbol kültürünün doğduğu yerler basketbol sahaları. Özellikle açık sahalar. Çünkü basketbol sevgisi oradan başlıyor. Evet belki televizyonda maç izleyerek onu birazcık alıyoruz ama o maçta izlediğimiz keyfi hemen topu alıp açık sahalara giderek biz yaşadık. Ve içimizdeki basketbol sevgisini büyüttük. Çok ben teşekkür ederim. Siz de burada keyifli sohbet gerçekleştirdik. Umarım ileride önümüzdeki dönemde bu sahada böyle bir basketbolcuyla birebirini izleriz. Evet. <laughs> yeah. There is no club in Turkey that he didn't score for. He played for Turkish national team, won a silver medal and had a really good reputation as a player who played 10 Euroleague seasons. And his name is Sinan Gülaş. Now, right now, we're here on the indoor um, refurbishment court of BKT uh, with one team organization. So for the young ballers, let's call it like that. Um, how does it, is it easy or is it difficult to jump to, from baller to the professional athlete level? It's definitely not easy. First, you, you really need to make a lot of sacrifices as a person um, and most likely, it's either social life or educational life. And second, you need to be lucky. And luck doesn't mean that you win the lotto and you gain this all opportunities. You just need to be ready when the opportunity comes. And that needs practice. How do you see now the community that faces, I think, some struggles and difficulties to play basketball or any other sports uh, without renovated, without um, refurbishment courts that that we see in daily life. You know, I think one of the main missions that EuroLeague holds is finding opportunities to give back to the community. Agreed. And one thing that I realized early on in my career is whatever you earn on the court, and I'm not talking about money, the, let's say, the word is clout, I think. Um, you have to share it with other people. And I've been doing that since 
2010 as well. And that's, that's never going to end. Now, you know, we're in a beautiful court outside also, very well designed, but also two things need to happen. One, you need kids to come in and play easily. Mm -hmm. And two, you need to keep that up. You need to continue rebuilding, not only here, but everywhere in Turkey, yeah. everywhere in Europe. Yeah, and EuroLeague is, is, has been doing it uh, for a long time with one team. How do you see one team organization, this project, this amazing project that gives opportunity to, to youth and to basketball lovers? No. First, I think, you know, we're showing that basketball is a team sport and we're all a team. Yeah. That's yeah. one approach to it. Yes. And at the same time, you know, we talk about the number of players who are limited to play the game but everybody needs to have access to the game. Sinan, this, this is an amazing conversation that we're having, and, but I, I want to see also how you left basketball and how you are in the basketball right now. I you. don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs>